What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we are going to be checking out a, I believe it's either a 225 or 250 um, Mercury Optimax. Um, customers having a problem going over about 4,000 RPMs, I think. Um, he said whenever he would, it would just kind of bog out and wouldn't really do much. Um, boat was last in here and we put like a fuel flow meter on it and everything. Didn't really you know, do anything to the motor besides just run it and idle it. Um, so something's going on. So we're going to kind of run you through um, checking process, what, what's already done. The guys, uh, I wasn't here yesterday, the guys already kind of ran a compression check just to make sure the motor's healthy, uh, which compression came back good. All the cylinders were about 90 PSI. Uh, PSI. So all that looks good. We're going to go over there, check fuel pressure, air pressure, just kind of start checking over some stuff and seeing what we find here. So keep you posted. This there hooked up. <clears throat> All right, okay. going to check this fuel pump first um, yeah I'm gonna get my tools to get this thing off you check that sometimes this gives us issues so number one we're gonna check this verify that's good um, we'll go from there Yeah, they're like a, yeah. It's a soft, it's a pulsing. Mm -hmm. It looks a little stretched, but it's... We're gonna we're gonna replace it anyways, just because. Yeah, this is completely. This ain't got much more of. That's really stressed. Oh yeah, look at, yeah, that. look at that. Okay. That might be it. There's no. Uh, Do we have those? We're gonna inspect these really. Yeah, inspect the gasket really carefully. 
see if there's any tears, but she just looks uh, really worn. Yeah, we're gonna replace, the, replace this. Just preventative maintenance while I'm here. So I was mistaken. There should be a lift pump in here as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, oh shit. Go ahead and uh, take this tank off here. Get it off, get it on the bench and take a look at it and see what we got. I had to uh, put this down trying to get this damn thing off unplug the lift pump lift pump it's the high pressure pump but look in there you definitely got trash so let me get this stuff out of here cleaned up Well, I do apologize, guys, but my camera seemed to have died as I was trying to film. Um, I do have a new diaphragm kit in the mechanical fuel pump. This is all back together. I did replace the filter. I did that on accident, just fooling around with it, looking at it, but uh, it does have a new fuel filter. Uh, everything got reinstalled and cleaned in this, so we're gonna head back over to the boat here. Um, get the well, actually i'm gonna put this on before i get it on the engine just to make it a little easier for me but i'm gonna put this on here and then um we're gonna go ahead and install the tank and run it and then we're gonna late test see what we find we got it clamped up we got everything ready to go we're gonna put some water to this thing run it and we shall go lake test probably gonna need a primer up a couple times sometimes you win sometimes you lose um, in this case you know we went through the VST tank to check everything which is uh, <clears throat> you know preventative here to make sure everything was okay now I came in on the kind of halfway of the job because I wasn't here yesterday and I was told everything in the boat checked out fine well come to find out I went to go prime the system up uh, via the primer bulb and I look down and I see this fuel line in there well this fuel line is always a problem if you could see right here that's liner in it so what happens is the ethanol fuel whatever it crumples it and it and it and it completely collapses the fuel line guy wasn't getting any fuel to his motor so you know we checked on that that was my fault for not rechecking what was checked you know lesson learned here can't always believe what was said you know some of my poked around yeah it looks fine you don't know what's been said so i physically went in there and i checked it out myself and then i found this kind of crap so right now i'm gonna get uh the fuel line they got it all the way up to here i'm going to get this fuel line changed down to um where we've got a uh, fuel flow meter at and then um we should be good we're still going to lake test it since we went through all this um you know just some preventative maintenance stuff here we did replace that um you know just just because of it did look worn and stuff like that but i had to bet this thing's gonna take off and run once we get a clear fuel line um Lesson learned here, always double check. Having real nice camera malfunctions today. Um, we got the, I got the fuel line all changed up in here. We got the new non, uh, non-liner fuel line in there. 
All right, let's go see what this thing does. Come on. Definitely gonna hook this up. pretty good though. Hey guys, so I just wanted to get on here and address something real quick. Uh, not that many of them may think or wonder, but if you were, we're not charging the customer, nor did we, um, for taking the tank and doing all that. It's the only thing that we're going to make him pay for is a new fi filter and new fuel pump, which, I mean, he kind of, it's probably time for a new fuel pump anyway, mechanical. But uh, anyways, you know, that one was just kind of like I kind of mentioned in the in whenever I found the fuel line, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. Um, not that it was a bad direction to go in, but, <clears throat> um, just don't see it fit to charge them. So we're not going to, uh, that's how we kind of do things sometimes. So, uh, just want to clarify that. Um, so also wanted to put here, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying tuned on these videos. Um, what I would like to say is if y'all have any suggestions on any videos, y'all would like to see whether it's troubleshooting, anything like that. Let me know. Um, you know, this channel is going to kind of be a little bit of everything, um, you know, in terms of fixing stuff, breaking stuff, uh, racing boats, uh, all kind of different stuff. So stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, like, and subscribe, guys.